Hello and welcome to the morning meeting. My name is Jimmy. His name is Matt, and we are talking about John Boy Media. Got a lot of questions from you guys we're going to talk about. Uh, so thank you for writing in questions. Appreciate that. And also on a little bit of a time crunch, I got I to gotta record Talking Yanks in uh, 27 to 30 minutes. So we'll rip through these. Oh, man, I just looked at the screen. I know Rob's going to fix this in post, but you're, you're so much daintier than me. <laughs> that looked like Elf. Yeah, no. And that camera is, my camera is punched in on here. It's just that lens is way different than this yeah. lens. Yeah. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm wearing my Disneyland Paris shirt, so I I think this shirt's cool. So I got lost there, me. so kind of. Yeah, I know you did. Yeah, we had three episodes about it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's true. Yeah, no, I'm good. Uh, I think the general vibe of the office is happy that. Uh, postseason is over and everybody's kind of like oh, oh i'm like, so excited to find a normal routine again mm-hmm. um everything stunk like no it was Elaborate. fun it was fun the streams were fun it was fun to be in the mix of it if the yankees were winning it would be all worth it it was all worth it in the end but like not having a sleep schedule sleeping in hotels so i wouldn't wake up the kids and katie at 3 a.m getting home throat hurting screaming yeah i'm so excited to be back on a routine but i'm on a routine for like three weeks and we're going to australia yeah then we'll find another routine i guess when how long are you there like 10 days yeah december no the day after thanksgiving until december 11th or 12th or something like that nice yeah <clears throat> but yeah i'm excited blitz roll battle five kicked off why don't you watching a lot of cricket again why don't we promo blitz ball battle five game two because this whole thing is brought to you by them. I watched. Here's a pregame show for Blitzball Battle 5, Game 2. Blitzball Battle 5 getting y'all set for game number two between Forgotten Rotten and Del Caribe. This is a fascinating matchup, right? You've got a two-time former champion, Trevor Plouffe. Then he's got Shelfie and Del Caribe. We know all about Lou Dab. He can get it done. The question is, can Joe's throw any strikes? That is the number one question. We know what we're going to get from Lou. Trevor's going to tell us what we're going to get from Trevor throughout the whole game. It's about the other guys. So what do you think? And Shelfie's background, he's played in the Blitzball World Series three different different times. He feels really confident. My prediction here is going to be forgotten rotten. I'm not even thinking about this one. It's tough for me to go against Trevor Plouffe. I think they're going to win. Also, Trev needed somewhere to put his chain. So you stole it? This is my baby gift from Trev. Not on the registry, but I accept. Okay, so you two <laughs> made your prediction. I'm going with Forgotten Rotten. Yeah. Del Caribe, has, they didn't win a game in Blitzball Battle Look, 4. you're in my heart, guys. Yeah, they've never beaten Forgotten Rotten in anything. But you'll have to tune in and see for yourself later today. Blitzball Battle 5. Okay, that was the pregame show. I watched game two yesterday. Editor's delight. I slacked Rob mm-hmm. and Grapp, who are the lead on Blitz Auto 5, and just like at 10.30 last night, and just said, guys, you crush this. There are maybe 10 segments that are not the game. They're like bits or antics on the sideline that could have been easily overlooked in the edit, and they made it more of like, no, let's make sure we get these antics. I'll show you one because I think you're going to like it, and it doesn't spoil anything. Uh, Dude, this cracked me up. Granted, I had a gummy, uh, and I was just like laying down watching, but maybe it's in the mix of it. Dude, Trev kills it playing his his role and Kelsey reporting Trev's jokes as his reporting voice and not like the way Trev is. It's, it's really funny. Okay. So I was cracking up, but let me find this. I texted it to um, like, this is such a small moment. I can like text you this and you can put it in the video. Rob can put it in the video and post if you want. Watch this. I want to test something. Come Oh. oh my God! I got it out before she got across. Yo, Sam, you be wild. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, Joe's with such Sam has no idea, and Joe's has such natural concern. He goes, Sam. Yeah. Oh my gosh! It's so funny because it's so out of like the character of the game. Like Joe's just screaming. Right. Uh, but yeah, so game two has uh, tons of hilarious moments. It opens with the it opens with a ceremony. I don't know if you remember that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I do. It's ridiculous. Um, quick one from game four that also doesn't spoil anything. Sam called this out, but 
Kenobio's lower third is so funny. It's in that SpongeBob like joke oh, yeah, text. Yeah. Look at me, I go to Vegas for work. I know Jake Paul. <laughs> it's just That's funny. Just funny. It's pretty good. Yeah, so that was fun to see people excited in the chat. Uh active again. Yes. And we were talking a little bit before we press record, but Blitzball Battle 5 Game 1 uh, premiered last night, so watch that if you haven't. And it's doing well. It's a 1 out of 10, which is obvious considering the last 9 videos before it, but it's the 15th best uh, first 12-hour views on the channel's history. Yep. Yeah. It's uh, It's got 34,000 after 12 hours, which was the average first 12 hour views would if that was to stay throughout the whole tournament that would be the second highest average for 12 hour views only blitz about a three which was really like just like a perfect storm of algorithm Everything. loved what we were doing timing we dropped it in the middle of baseball season so yeah it'd be cool uh and it, it usually doesn't stay like that but i don't know we're doing a lot better to promote it and, and make it like uh get people get it out there so i am excited yeah, that's cool. I think before Floorball debuted, we were all like, oh, these are the best games ever. Um, but as you've said, we're doing things differently now to market better. Yeah. And this Blitzball Battle 5 is also, these are the best games we've ever played. There's a lot of that good. in here as well. Good, good. Yeah. yeah. I think the some some tournaments you walk away and you're like, there was really good moments, but it wasn't. We we figured out in the way as we went like blitz battle through respect was really cool and then blitz battle four was kind of tough uh in the moment like and what are we just like toned into like things that work like for a four ball bright crowd let the crowd know this is a tv show like make let them know they have to help out uh and then like i'm saying in game two like going to the editors and be like hey bring in all the humor like go bring in the non-game stuff and the antics and the silliness because that's what's different and it got to a point where i think we were like just go, to focus on the games and, yeah. and just everyone like the whole thing. So like, oh, let's bring it back. So I'm excited. There's a lot of fun shit in there. And I'm trying to see how many live years do we have last night? It got the 3000, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think it peaked 35. I think I saw. Okay. Well, that's really good then. Yeah. For first game. That would be 14th. What did it peak at? 3508. 35. Yeah. Oh, that would be the ninth most live viewers we've ever had for a game. Great. So that's really good. Yeah. Cool. Uh, 2560 average. Oh, wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That would be if it, if 3,500 was the average. Okay. So what was the average? 2560. So that would be 24th or 23rd most. Okay. Still good. And peak was 3.5. Three yeah. I mean, it's all BB3. Blitzball Battle 4. Because it was oh. no baseball, no football season, and it was eight eight o'clock at night premieres. Mm -hmm. We weren't like going up against anything yep. in that window of right. time. February, late February, early March. Makes sense to me. Yeah, cool. All right, all right. Let's move on. A uh, few comments on the last episode asking. <laughs> I took a username that, of course, I can't pronounce because it's not words. But they asked. Uh, user GM one BW four a five W. Correct. They asked us or said, surprised you guys didn't address the reaction to the Mookie fan interference clip. Well, we recorded that the day of, so it was before that happened. And then the oh, video last came episode. Out. Yeah, we recorded the morning that that Mookie incident happened at night. So we did not know. Um, and then the episode came out the following day. Um, but for those that don't know, you, uh, Jake and Joe's are watching game four. Fan goes crazy on Mookie's glove in right field. Uh, first inning, right? You guys laughed. <laughs> I was it the first inning? I think so. The announcers laughed on TV. Yeah. Whatever, dude. This is uh, um, nothing. That's I honest thoughts. Uh, Twitter isn't real. If backlash comes to us in other avenues, I think we give it thought and all that. Um, it's just out of context. If you watch like the thing where we're laughing because it's fucking ridiculous. It's so, uh, it's so unexpected. And like, pff, that is, is such clear interference. Yeah. And then Jake immediately when the, we stop laughing at it, Jake goes, get that guy out of here. Mm -hmm. So 
Yeah, I think there's uh, people that just like I, whatever. Like it, I, someone asked it, uh, like on the comments last episode. At eight two four said, "What are your thoughts on the in the putting quotes backlash for laughing at Mookie fan interference play last night?" I know it'll probably be long forgotten by the time the next episode comes out. I'm wondering how the company approaches controversial moments like that. This doesn't even like enter our brain as do we have to like me and Jake and and everyone and no one in real life texted us or reached out which is like where i would say oh do we have to uh, what happened here yeah um you know like when i was uh in a terrible uh place and being a dick during floorball that was like a real real backlash that i was like yes i agree i should address this yeah. This is so crazy, man. It's just nuts. Do you remember when uh, Mets fans sometimes, and this isn't that case because it was assault. So I understand some people are like, can't fathom laughing at something that's wrong. But like the Darwin Awards exist. You know, you know what that is? No. It's like the dumbest um, death of the year. Oh, okay. Like there is like, you can laugh and also say that's fucking terrible well that's what AFTV America's Funniest Home Videos that's not the same thing America's Funniest Home Videos that's what the whole show is yeah it's laughing at and and uh, and hit. you can't and like I will say they when they showed the the shot where like Mookie can't stand yeah then it's like oh shit that's really fucked up and I think everyone else has knows that before uh they see the clip of us laughing whatever um but like, yeah, Twitter is not real because it, there's just a, like, you know, Jake will be like, it's 2000 people that hate us. Like they're yeah. like, there's 2000 people that hate us. And when anything happens like this, they're going to go try oh, to spread sure. it as wide as possible. Like when I said that the mound was crooked uh, at yeah, yeah, yeah. City Field mm -hmm. and that that's why the Yankees lost. Like, I mean, the most satirical, sarcastic take right. I could have making a joke. I even presented as like, I mean, are you going to tell me the Yankees had bad scouting reports and couldn't execute their pitches or are you, or it's probably just the mound's crooked. Right. I like had such a joke. People still to this day be like, Oh, I bet you think the mound's crooked clown. Is that why the Yanks lost? And it's like, what? They're like calling me a clown. And I'm like, I was being a clown. That was a joke. Yeah. That was a joke. Now you guys have and like, that was a crazy day. That was the same amount of like backlash as the laughing thing. Whatever. I, I, um, that didn't phase us in the slightest. That's, there's times when I've been like upset about a swirl. Same sure. thing with the Oakland fans. Still to this day, Oakland fans and people are like, you support Fisher. And I'm like, I've been fucking shitting on the Oakland A's owner since we started talking into Mike's. Sure. But when they uh, announced they were going to play in, at the college field, I was like, damn, it'd be cool to watch Judge and Stan hit homers from the berm. Yeah. And they were like, you support scumbag, him. your support. I was like, whoa. My um, only final thing here is for the people that say, if that's Juan Soto, you don't laugh. That's not true. You just don't know us then. Yeah. I think that's like, you just don't. And I think that's a lot of it. Like, you just don't know us. Uh the other thing, so my main point is like this happens every three, four weeks in the middle of um, April to October. So whatever it is, there's a swirl of people upset about, uh, upset with us over something, be it a joke that's out of context or yeah, like a flippant comment. It'd be fun to watch big league homers on the berm. Whatever. Whatever. Um, wanted to jump down to another question from Merrick. He said, will the name change of Bally Sports affect John Boy Media at all? No. No. Because Bally's is already a casino. Right. So it's just going from one it's going from one sports book esque to another. Right? Yeah. I mean, FanDuel got the naming rights. It's not like they have ownership. Yeah. And Bally's is a gambling company and FanDuel's a gambling company. Yeah. So it's a, it was a, so no, no. Um, last thing before we truly dive into the question segment, um, 
James's birthday was this past weekend. Happy birthday to him. He's birthday. three. Three. Um, He's old. Did he... Is he of age? And I always feel silly asking of these because I, I don't know the to answers do at all to realize, oh, it's my birthday. He, he was excited about present, like opening presents. And yeah, I think he knows. He Yes. I, it's not like he was like the day before, like tomorrow's my birthday, like yeah, excited. Yeah. Uh, he already had a party or he's not like, but it's my birthday, please. Like he's not using it as a way to uh, get stuff. Right. But he's, he, you know, the, at two, they have no idea. Yeah. So, yeah, like aware, but it's not a a giant day. But I don't know. If he's anything like me and Katie, it'll never be a giant day. I've yeah. never enjoyed my birthday. Does he have, like, Christmas on his radar? Um, He just likes the decorations. Like, I don't think he's asking for presents or anything yet. I got him a marble uh, block set I've been putting on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Because I loved those as a kid, and he's really enjoyed it making those. Nice. Tough builds. He wants me to make these big-ass ones. <laughs> like, wow. fuck. Yeah. Well, the box, these toy companies, I bought the 60-piece set, and then on the 60-piece set box is a ton of pictures of, like, the 90-piece set. So he's like, build that one, build that one. And they got different blocks, different obstacles, more pieces. And I'm like, I can't. We don't have enough. And he's like, why? Yeah. Like, Fuck you, box company. They knew what they're doing. That is what well, they, you have to they buy 100% one. know what they're doing. Yeah. Let's put the the builds that they have to buy the next. If I buy the 90 piece box, I bet the pictures on that are for the 120 piece set. Yeah. It's pretty smart. It is smart. All right. Let's drive into some questions here. Ian asked, uh, is there a plan to have more written content on the website for all of the warehouse games tournaments? I saw the BB five preview, which was fantastic. I think we'll see how that goes. Uh, the BB five preview and, and previews has been awesome. I don't know um, if Sam and uh, Mikey's his name have set anything more in motion there as far as like recaps or game recaps. Do you know? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, I think it's like, see how it goes. See how many people are going to it. Um, but I wouldn't make any decision based on results for this tournament. In general, I would, I always say, let's like do it, like, let's try something new, do it for the full thing and then, then react to it. Um, I like it. I like that we have a website. I want to use the website way more in the future. I don't think we have the, uh, people, the capabilities to do it. Uh, you know, linking to the stats after game one, here's the stat leaders with write-ups and, and just places where people can really get in the weeds if they want, um, do we have we have a comment section on the website, but is it only for subscribers? Yes. Okay. Because I'd love to see a place where people could like all comment and talk about the games that isn't YouTube because it's uh, it could be organized easier. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's you know I wanted a website to put all the stats, the calendar, the planning. I don't know if we have the abilities with what we have right now, but it's a start. And I really wanted to be able to write the, write written word stuff because you know when I tune into any. For things you missed or for off season, I just like diving into random ass sports. Like I was um, recently the Kabaddi, pro Kabaddi league in India, which is like wrestling tag. I was like, oh shit, that's back. And then I Googled it and there was a write-up that was like everything you need to know before this season. And I read like the quick paragraphs, just uh, who's the good team, who's the bad team. Mm -hmm. We haven't offered that. Like it's, we've built this really webbed intr intrinsic, no intersected what's the word i'm looking for interconnected yeah i don't know we've built this deep world that has a lot of different like either lore or backstories all this and i feel like it's a little hard to to enter and a website that just gives you like here's ketchup helps so so i want to keep doing it but I just don't know if we're set up on the process of it, of like getting stats to people. I don't have time to oversee that right now. So um, yeah, I'd love for it to happen. But, and I also, we got to get, see if people are going to it. But I think there was a decent amount of people going to the preview. Cool. Yeah. Um, the next question is from Rich. 
Uh, he said, does watching a video in smaller chunks of time hurt the overall metrics? There are times that I will get pulled away from a warehouse video and come back a couple of hours later to finish it. I don't think so. I have no idea. I don't know I if really it's like watch time so. is based on user or based by like moment based. But don't worry. Yeah. If you're watching, watch however you want to watch. And I appreciate it. Yeah. Good call. That was a question that like I, I don't really know. And I don't know if there's going to be an easy way for us to figure that out. But like lost courage. Yeah. Um, between the bases asked and I forget if we ever answered this. What happened to the office vlogs? They didn't get enough views to sustain having employees work on them. Yeah. Basically, someone asked me what happened in the pregame post game as well on warehouse and I responded in the comment but basically draft any any sponsor that already sponsored the games yeah. said this is redundant. It's the same audience so we're not getting extra value here so we we can't we can't sponsor the pre and post game show because it's no new audience. They already, we're already getting our money's worth in the games. Makes total sense from their point of view. Oh, so the thought would be, okay, can we get new sponsors to just sponsor the pre and post game show? Doesn't get enough views to warrant that. Um, uh, you need like, you know, 50,000 views, maybe even like for it to really be worthwhile. If it's not like part of another package, which a solo headlining sponsor, you need like 50,000 views guaranteed episode. Um, or you otherwise you package it with other shit, which we could do. But, but if you're not getting headline sponsor money, then the amount of work it takes to build those and record those is it's a whole job. And so now you're just, you know, an employee cost X amount and then resources to do this cost X amount. And then, you're not earning. So it's just a lost property. <laughs> so um, that's why pre and post game changed, but we are now putting the pre and post game on Substack and snippets of the pressers at the end. Mm -hmm. And then the full press conferences are on Substack. Have we announced anywhere or pin that to warehouse games? We should pin that. Like pin if you want to see the full on. pressers and we're going to do even like now at the end, starting game five at the very end, like, uh, the pressers and the post game will end and then it will go almost like an end credit scene and the pregame show for the next game will play, which mm -hmm. I'm excited about because the algorithm changed on the warehouse games channel and they don't care about. Yeah. You don't need a hard out. We've talked about that. Yep. But yeah, the vlog is the same boat. It didn't get enough views to pay for itself. And it was a lot of time. You have to always be filming and yeah. And it didn't even get enough views for, because not everything is money based. There's some decisions that are value based or investment based. Like there's some content we do that doesn't get um, enough, but we think there's like a, a different value it brings. Mm -hmm. This show, right? Yeah. This is getting people deeper into the weeds and being transparent with the audience and and uh, building a like honest rapport. Yeah. Uh, and it has helped on the business side when Courtney comes in and talks about what we're doing and what our plans are. It's like crazy helped on the other side. So there's. There's other shows. And then there's shows like Guts, which will me and Jake have so much else going for us that pays and is doing well that we're allowed to have this side project where we can fuck around and have fun, even yep. if it's not um, like a cash cow earner. So there's always, there's it's not just black and white money. Like we actually make a ton of decisions and there have properties that are not just money-based. But the vlog became like, it wasn't even growing to new audience no. or showing it. I loved it. I, I, I liked it when it was good. And there's other times where it was like really forced and tough and for it to be good, you'd need to have people that are filming all day and, and, and being intrusive uh, yeah. with uh, in interesting moments and then like whipping a quick edit out. So for we just, sure. I would love to get it back and be able to do it right. But I think we need to just have a bigger profile. Agree. Yeah. It was, I mean, it was a lot. And like you said, the product wasn't great. Or but if like was, Substack becomes huge and that's where people yeah. really like us, then um, we can do that. But yeah. We got three minutes and two questions. Uh, Mike W asked, do comments engagement have much impact for the algorithm or is it just heavily weighed towards the metrics you talked about? Watch time, total watch time. What's the question? Do comments slash engagement have much impact on the algorithm? So every channel is different. Like every algorithm is different. I haven't looked like there's certain 
where that doesn't matter. With Guts, the with John Boy Jake TV watching Guts, the last time I ran, I scraped all the info there. Shares mattered a ton. Mm. Um, and all you got to do is click the share button. I don't know. I don't think you actually have to send the link, but if you click share and then copy it, right. Text it to yourself just to be safe. But I don't even know if you have to. I doubt um, that you have to. That that was uh, that coincided with impressions. But I don't know if the other channels that I've run, which is Warehouse Talking Baseball, I want to rerun the main channel too because longer breakdowns are just crushing mm-hmm. uh, and the shorter ones are not. But yeah, I wonder if I ca- if I had. When I've run Guts these reports, analytics. don't yeah. have the comments in a column. You don't? Yeah, I have comments, shares, likes, dislikes. I just do them all. Right. And and yes, like look at this Guts chart. So imp- when, I short, short, when I sort shares, yep. it 100% matches with impressions. So the video with the most shares has the most impression, has the second most impressions, the second most shares, most impressions. Yep. Um, we have three videos that over, and, and you know, it's a little chicken or the egg. Sometimes when I run these, I want to run just like first week, mm-hmm. or like first 12 hours. Cause that's what I was about to say is like, we did that for blitz about three mm-hmm. figure out like, okay, well I forget how I scraped it that way, but I want to try to do that again. Makes sense. Maybe Thursday I'll try. Um, we've got a minute left and we got our final question. Uh, a couple people asked grace and AT. AT active commenter. Um, can you put the rest- the stricken videos breakdowns on the website or have you done this? Uh, this is, we talked about the IPL videos last week. Is this something that we could put on the website? Maybe. Yeah. Probably can't. I don't, I don't know. It's a very tricky area. Mm. But yeah. I think so. Yeah. I mean, I would think so. I don't see really why not, but we have a ton. I mean, how many on the main channel do you think? I had to take down Um, over the course of like the years. I would do content filter uh, visibility private. I'm going to guess 11. Well, it's going to come up as the raw number is more than that because all the old like talking yank six packs in the shows. So I'm going to do just private. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen breakdowns. Yeah. Fifteen breakdowns. All cricket. Yep. Damn, dude. These had good views too. I wonder if that hurts like the algorithm moving forward. Like now they're like, you don't have an audience, so they don't promote it. Or I don't know. Just like yeah. cause like this. Pat Cummins hits everything, 700,000. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Player calls for review, 492,000. GT needed 12 runs, 300,000. Yeah. Crazy final over, 361,000. Like, good views. Yeah, they are. Damn. All right. Thank you very much for the questions. Is there anything else? No, that's it. Appreciate it. Ask more questions for next week, unless it's a Courtney week. Um and go check out Blitzball Battle 5 uh, Game 2 because it's really funny. It's really funny. Kelsey was cracking me up the way she was reporting on Trev. <laughs> Just cracking me up. All right. We're going to go talk Yanks. Cash talked about the defense. So, fun. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.